like the exhibition because it wants a dialogue, it, it wants discussion. Thanks a lot for this exhibit because if it wasn't for things like this, people wouldn't be thinking about um, changes that they need to make in their life. You know, something's blowing in the wind, the times are changing. Um, we all have to adapt and learn how to uh, figure out what, what's best for people. I think that a way that people can overcome cultural differences is to really get to know the people that they're around on a day-to-day -day basis, like, not, and not just stick to people that are like you, like mm. you. <laughs> Keeping an open mind and, uh, you know, seeing what you can learn from other people and uh, listen very carefully when people try to communicate with them. It's just like the difference between eating a soup and a salad. You know, a soup, all the flavors begin to assimilate after a while, but a salad, you appreciate the differences and it makes it a more textured experience. So I wouldn't try to overcome, but I would certainly educate so that we can learn to appreciate the experiences of, of, of our different cultures. I like, to, I like to see how different people can come together yeah. to make like a better place. very moving to me, especially this part about uh, the, all the group of immigrants uh, coming together in this city. I was born in Puerto Rico. I have been living in the U.S. since 1989, and this is the first time ever in almost 20 years that I have visited such a moving place that I could finally feel that they were talking to me. The exhibit really opened up you know, my mind that it's not just black and white, it's all cultures that have come here. Uh, skin complexion really doesn't matter. It's uh, the idea that we're all from, from can be from different places and, and we all have to unite and understand one another in order for us to, to be successful. It can be uh, hurtful to know that you know, even as open-minded as you think you are as an individual, that you still carry certain stereotypes about human beings that are just like you. And uh, they may not enjoy the same foods or, you know, uh, music, but they still have feelings and, you know, the energy is the same with the hurt and the disappointment. So that moved me and I'm gonna, I'm gonna do better. Hi, um, I'm from that part of the world where Mostly the only honorable thing for a woman to do is to get married and have children and have a man to take care of yourself. I, I have been brought up in a different manner and I believe in independence and the importance of career. However, there have been a lot of bitterness from my end and from the, from the other end, the other parties or the other end of the society. But coming here and seeing all these changes and especially this exhibit makes me realize that I should do one thing that those others have not been able to do, that is be try to be understanding, try to understand what their lives have been like and why they make the decisions that they do, and try to reduce the bitterness. I applaud those who are responsible for putting this museum together and for making people feel included. This museum is a very good symbol of America. I'd like to thank the Levine Museum for having the courage to put on a uh, exhibit like this. This museum is absolutely magnificent. And I love the Living Museum. Thank you very much Thank for you. putting together a wonderful exhibit. Thank you. I feel we should reach out and touch somebody's head. Make this world a better place if you can. Cause I need you to shine, shine. There's no end that the slave would ever come my way. Never would have made it. Thank you. I want to thank you for your 
لا منشنا خرطة بتخيل ما خنقات يا ما خينا لبيان Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? Let's get crazy!